Hey y'all, this is Kim at Y'all Sweet Water Garden. Uh, hope you guys have had a good evening. I know I have. Let me wipe this off real quick. Sorry about that, y'all. But I had some grease on my camera from my hands. But um, today I want to, or this evening, I want to talk about faith. Faith. Um, and before I read, I'm going to read... Um, Hebrews chapter 11 and 1 through, it says 1 through 40, but I might stop at um, 30. We'll see. Okay, um, let's pray. And dear Heavenly Father, we come this evening, Father Yah, we thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for your Shabbat, and as I close out, Father, the Shabbat, as reading your word, I ask that you bless us and watch over us and keep us. Forgive me of my sins and my shortcomings, and please allow your Holy Spirit to use me and guide me and direct me. And as I talk about faith, Father, guide us and lead us, and thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. Be with our friends, family, neighbors, and the poor and the sick and the hungry, Father. Those that are out there in this rain, Lord, it's raining right now. Protect them and keep them and cover them. And just be with my mom here and my um, children, my husband um, in Texas. And just be with us all, Father. And those that are listening, the sound of my voice, Father, that they hear you speak and not myself. Remove me, Father. Is our prayer in your son, Yahushua's precious name. Amen. Okay. Now, faith. Or start with uh, verse 1, um, Hebrews 11. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, that is faith. You can't see it, but you believe it and that you hope for it, okay? Now I'll give you guys an example when I'm done. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were, the worlds were framed by the word of Yah, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith abel offered unto yah a more excellent sacrifice than cain by which the by which he obtained witness that he was righteous yah testifying of his gifts and by it he being dead yet speak speaketh verses five by faith enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because yah had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased Yah. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. So Abel had faith, and Enoch had faith. And who else? It's, so it was Abraham. Did you say Abraham? Or haven't got to Abraham yet? No, I haven't got to Abraham yet. Okay, all right, I'm skipping ahead. Okay, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of Yah of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to save to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of of the righteous which is by faith okay but okay that was noah when he built the ark he did that by faith verse 8 by faith abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive of an inheritance obeyed and went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. So by faith, Noah did, he did the build the ark. And by faith, Amber, Am, Abraham went out, not knowing where he was going, and he went out anyway. Verse 9. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Verse 10. For he looked for a city which had foundations, who, 
whose builder and maker is Yah. Through faith, also, Sarah, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because, because she judged him faithful who had promised, who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as a good, as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, in multitude, and as the sand which is by the sea shore innumerable. Verse 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but have seen them afar off, were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that said such things declare it plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. Verse 16. But now they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly, where for Yah is not ashamed to be called their Yah, or their God. For he had prepared for them a city. Now verse 17. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Verse 19. Accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead. Excuse me. From whence also he received him in a figure. Verse 20. By faith Isaac became. I'm sorry. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob when he was a, was a dying. Blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months of his parents because they saw he was proper, a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. That was verse 23. Now verse 24. By faith Moses when he was come to years. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of Yah. Than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Verse 26. For esteeming the reproach of Yahushua. Greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he had respect unto the recommence of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who's invisible. Verse 28. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which, which the Egyptians assaying to do were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they was compassed about seven, day, seven days. In verse 31, By faith, the harlot Harab perished not when they that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of the Gideon and of Barak and of Samson, and of and of Jephthah, uh, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets. Verse thirty-three. Though I'm I'm sorry. Thirty. Verse thirty-three. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of the lions, stopped the mouths of the lion, quenched the violent of fire, escaped the edge of the sword. Out of the weakness were made strong wax vi vigilant in fight, turning to flight 
the armies of the aliens. Verse 35, women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockeries and scourgings, yeah, moreover of bonds and imprisonments. Verse 37, they were stoned, they were saw, sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Verse 38, of, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. Verse 39, and these all having obtained a good report through faith, receiving not the promise. The last verse, verse 40, God having prom or God have having provided some better things for us that they without us should not be made perfect. I went all the way because I know once I start reading y'all's word, I just can't stop. So I read uh, Hebrews 11, 1 through 40. And it's just a mess to let you know how faith when they everybody went through something. Abraham went through something. Uh, Joseph went through something. Moses went through something. Who else? Um, Noah. You know, they all went through something. Abel. So they all went through it by faith. And they did the Lord's bidding by faith. And I could tell you my little story. I'm not going to keep you guys for very long. But uh, this is, this is, was... This happened in, it started in 2017, I think. I started praying to the Lord about how, you know, and we were living in, we were renting a townhouse in, in, in Texas. And I always wanted to own a house. And so I started praying, you know, my husband can tell you the testimony, you know, my kids too, because they're all there with me, went through it with me. And. I was praying. I was just asking the Lord, you know, Lord, you know, I'm tired of renting. I want to, you know, I want to be able to own our own house. <laughs> and so I just started, you know, started believing it, start hoping and having faith and believing that God will, you know, one day allow me to have a house, you know, mind you, it's like around 2017, 2018. And, you know, we had bad credit and everything. So the Lord, I can tell you, God is good. The Lord blessed us to get out of debt. And, and it was a nice sum. He blessed us to get out of debt. We got out of debt. My husband, think he at that time, he didn't, I don't know if he had DA or not. But back then, we was, I was, you know, he found out that he could. So he got his VA. You know, it wasn't much, but he got it. And then he started working for a little bit more and more and he got a little bit more. So we got out of debt. He got, he had his VA and we finally started talking, you know, to real estate or, you know, found a real estate in the broker or whatever. And meantime, while we were doing that before that, I knew we was going to move because it was like the Lord, I'm not a, a gardener. I, I didn't, never garden my my parents did my dad did the gardening and we was growing up with it and we learned that way and so that happened for a reason so i started you know planting my crops you know in buckets i would buy a bunch of buckets or i wouldn't buy them but my husband would get them from his job because they were pickle buckets and i would put holes in the bottom of them and i would buy uh dirt and you know and plant seeds and we had a at the townhouse, we had an alley like uh, next to the, it was like a townhouse. And then next to it was another townhouse. But between the two townhouses, there was like a, a I would say not an alley, but a, a walk path. It was a space. And I would put all my buckets there, line up against my, my side of the townhouse. And I would start planting stuff. You know, everything I could think of, I would plant. I would go on YouTube and I would figure out how to do it, you know. Because I still had, you know, I knew it was in me. It was just that I had to 
learn more, you know. So I went on YouTube and watched people and I learned how to do it. I would Google stuff, and, you know, and just learn. And I did it that way. So mind you, you know, I have 10, I have 20 and 30, 40, 50 buckets, maybe more than that. Then I would buy these big old laundry tubs. They're really cheap. They were about three or four or five dollars at Walmart. I put holes in the bottom of them, buy dirt, put them in there. And mind you, when we got our, um, I guess it was the stimulus check. That was in 2000 and was it 19? Yeah. Mind you, we was doing this and I was looking for houses at the same time. I was going online looking for houses. I would look on Zillow. I, my husband, we would t go every weekend up to the lake because, you know, I told him, I said, well, I want to I'm going to live up by the lake, you know. And he's like, we can't afford this, da, 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 you know. But I said, don't say that, you know. I, I, I believe we could, you know. God will work it out. And I always was the one that, you know, he's like, okay, we'll see, we'll see. And I said, okay. So meanwhile, I'm doing my gardening. I would buy all these buckets and laundry tubs, you know, and put dirt in them and, and plant seeds. And so I'm having, I know I counted them. I had at least 50, 60 buckets and about maybe, I want to say 40, 50 of the laundry tubs. And we left up at it. My husband, he was so mad at me because... <laughs> When we did finally move, we had to move all them buckets in laundry t in in laundry dirt full of dirt. <laughs> it was it wasn't funny, but I can laugh now. But it wasn't funny then. And thank God that he had got his truck. He purchased his truck, and we also had to get a U-Haul. But I tell you, that was he said never again. We'll never do that again. We'll never do that again. Mm, don't say never. So, make a long story short, the Lord blessed us. We we got our you know found a house that was they were building it and so they we got to get that house and the Lord I knew He was preparing me you know I had faith and I had hope and I believed that that we were gonna get it you know and so we did it we got it right up there but then my husband I told him I said honey this is only temporarily you know we're not gonna be staying here for very long and he looked at me like what we ain't we ain't going nowhere we stayed here I. He goes, you always moving. You always do it. I said, but I'm telling you, we're not going to be here for very long. It's temporarily. And so he was like, whatever. So now, mind you, we here, it, it, that was 19, we moved there in 2021. Yeah, 2021. So this is, it, it was 22, 2 passed, 22, 23, 23 passed. Now we're in 2024. And we've been, it be three years. We've been there three years. So, now I said, Lord, it's, it's, it's been, I've been praying and asked the Lord help, you know, make me, you know, I've been praying the Jabaz prayer, you know, bless us, Lord, prosper us, you know. And I told my husband the other day, I said, it, it's getting ready, we're getting ready to move. He's like, he's like, what? He's like, no, you know, I said, honey, we are, we're getting ready to move, you know. I said, way things is happening right now, we got to move, you know, because we gonna, if we don't move, we're going, because where we live, across the highway they're they cut down all the trees and they're starting to build like over a thousand homes and it's going to cause our house um value to go down so i told him i said we done got the house value up where we want it i said now it's about to go i said no we got to move you know and he, i said we can get our the equity you know whatever out and you know but the lord is trying to tell you when you ask and you pray for something and you believe it and you have hope, you know, it ain't about materialistic things. It's about your faith. And it's about if you believe God said he's going to do something, y'all going to do it. And you believe it, he's going to do it. You know, so I know that's just how I had got, you know, the house. The Lord bless us with the house, you know. So, and and I believe it now. What we getting ready to do, you know, right now I'm in California. But I'm about to hit, I'm about to be going back soon. And the things are going to get ready to wind up, you know, this summer. Because I told him, I said, we'll never move back in the rain again. Because every seemed like every time we moved, it was November, December. I said, this time is going to be summertime. So I got to go back and prepare. So, and, you know, we got to, you know, sell the house and stuff and like that. And he's he's just kind of like shaking his head like, this is not happening. <laughs> like, what have I gotten myself into? But I tell you, the Lord is good. He's, Yahweh is good. He's always on time and he will show you, he'll show out. He wants, if you pray, your cup will overflow. He will give you more than what you ask for. 
seek his kingdom first and all these things will be added unto you i'm the riches of glory is his heaven you know that's his first is his kingdom he said he promised us that when he come back he will have matches prepared for us i don't want no matching down here you know i just want to be able to live in basic you know peaceful and the basic necessities and sharing god's message about what the lord put on my heart to share with you guys and that was my testimony i know god can work it and i know he'll do it if you only trust in and believe in him love him keep his commandments and yeah you're gonna have some storms to go through but that's to strengthen your faith and strengthen your character so i love you guys on that note god bless and have a blessed evening i love you guys bye for now